Hey, if you can't tell from looking, we are here to do part four, which is my Japanese section of my shiny collection for my shiny collection 2019 update. So here we have the first three singles that they released in Japan when they made their debut. Now I do have one other thing that was released in Japan when shiny debuted, and that is this, which is a repack of Lucifer. It's a Japanese um, repackaging or re-release. So this is Japanese print. This is not the Korean version. Um, but I don't really consider this as part of their debut because it's kind of like hype that was released to get people ready for them. Um, but their first single in Japan was also their first single in Korea, Replay. So their first few singles actually were all redos of Korean songs they had already released prior to then. So you have Replay and you have the regular version, which initially all their regular versions came as CD, DVD. I don't know if you can see that looking up close, but it says uh, CD, DVD. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Then you have the limited edition, which has a photo book and a twin tray, which is separated. Not sure why they did that. The photo book is about the same size as the regular, so you can get one or the other. It's not really going to make a difference. I know that one version had the photo card, but since these are all out of print now, it's not really something to consider because you're probably going to have to buy the photo card separate. Then we have three versions of Juliet. You have the CD DVD. Then you have another CD DVD, but it's a... Uh, twin tray and photo book and then you have this which is one of three releases that had the play button so you've got this one that's got the play button the photo book and the twin tray and I'm going to show you the play button on this one just because I wanted to show it to you you'll see it again when I show you another one but just wanted to so this is the play button, it's this little box right here. And when you take the box out, the box has like a little sliding mechanism. So you slide it to the side if you can. I'm not very nimble, so forgive me. That's it, that is the play button. No big whoop. I don't think that SM, the play button caught on for them. So that's why they don't do it anymore. But um, Angels2014 here on YouTube, she does do a play button tutorial on her channel that she just uploaded recently. So go there and check it out because YG continue to do play buttons. So if you're interested on how to use your play button, check out her video. And then lastly, we have this, which is Lucifer. Um, and this is probably one of my favorite photo shoots in Japan of all time because it is so off the wall nutty like I don't know who okayed this but that person is a kinky genius first of all you have shiny in all their leather daddy glory um Jong Yin is keeping with the theme of wearing weave as accessories so yeah there you go and then the poses in here I would like to know who decided that this was an appropriate pose for Taemin I don't know, but it seems highly suggestive to me. And it's not the only time that there was a photograph of Taman with something in his mouth. So just putting that out there. But yeah, one of the things that I really love is that even though Shiny came to Japan with older songs redone in Japanese, they did give all new fan uh, photo art for it. So that's really nice. They didn't try to recycle the images. There is one other originally... Korean song that they repackaged in Japan that is going to have some of the artwork from the Korean release but because of timing it's understandable so we'll get in that in a minute so those were the first few singles and then we have the first album so here's the first album you've got your regular edition here which this is just CD and photo book so I guess at some point they decided we're gonna not put DVDs with the regular editions anymore which makes sense I get it I'm not mad at that. Um, you gotta give the people something to look forward to. Then you've got this, which is one of the limited editions. It's got the calendar, the twin tray, and the photo book there. And the calendar is a mini calendar. Just thought I'd show you because it's so weird. But yeah, it's this. It's like a miniature CD case. And then there's these like mini photo cards that go in there that you can change out for the calendar. 
it's something. And then you have this, which is the first box. And I love this damn thing. It is so beautiful. I got this many, many a year ago off of Amazon. I think I paid $20 for it. I did not pay much at all. I know that much. It goes for considerably more now. But it was way more expensive when it was brand new, actually. So I get why it goes for more. And it is beautiful. So this is the front. And it is fairly thick. Let's go inside. So inside you have this... Ooh, stay up. Inside you have this twin tray here. Inside of the twin tray... This thing always falls down, sorry. You have the photo book. And you have the CD and DVD right there. You have the track listing, of course. And then you have a play button. And then underneath the play button, you have another calendar. So that's that. I think it's lovely. I can't use the calendar, and I've never tried to use the play button. But I still think this is amazing for what you get. And... I don't know. I just like seeing it on the shelf. It makes me happy just to see it on the shelf. So if you can get a hold of it for a reasonable price, I highly recommend it. All right, so now that we've gotten past the first era where I am for sure what order everything goes in, now we're in the second era where I don't remember what order things are. So from here on out, I know which singles go with which album. I just don't remember what order the singles were released in. So we're going to start with this, which is 1,000 Years By Your Side. You have a regular edition, which is just a jewel case of them sitting on the back of the death bus. And then you have the track list right there. No biggie. Um, one of the reasons, though, why I recommend getting the regular version is because I believe that the regular version might have a little bit of extra music. Don't quote me on that. Um, and then this is the limited edition, which... I don't know why, but out of all their packaging, to me, this is the most Japanese packaging. And I, I think that the reason why I feel that way is because, to me, it's the packaging that most reminds me of anime. Like, it reminds me of, like, Black Butler or, or on Host Club because of, like, the symbolism here. But, yeah, to me, it's, like, their most Japanese in terms of art direction, I guess I should say. And it comes with a tray and a photo book, if you can't tell. Hopefully you can't. It's hard to read here. It is hard to read, so I can understand if you can't tell. And then the track list in the back. And as you can see, it doesn't come with the instrumental. So that's why I said you get a little bit more music if you get the regular edition. Then next you have Fire, which for a long time... Fire was my least favorite packaging, and I'll show you quickly why. So this is the regular edition CD, no big deal. Comes with Fire and Moon River Waltz, along with the instrumental for both. Then this is the limited edition. Here is the front. Here is the back. No instrumentals. And then when you open it up, it has an extra photo book, and then the regular CD. No lie. Like, if you look at it, it's the same. Like, the pictures are a little bit different, but it's the same. I'm very unimpressed with that. I think that they could have done a lot more, and so that's why for a long time this was my least favorite packaging for any of their Japanese releases. Then we have Sherlock. Now, this was the last repack of a Korean song for them. Like, that was released for wide release. So you have Sherlock here. Um, this is... Some of it is new art and some of it is old art, which is kind of weird. So inside these pictures, you should be able to recognize as being styling from the Korean version of Sherlock, like all these photographs. But then looking at their faces and their hair, this is new art. This is not from the packaging from Sherlock in Korea. So that's a little bit different. Then you've got this, which is the lenticular cover that goes with it. It's pretty freaking trippy, not gonna lie. I, I spent a long time looking at this to see what it is that's moving. And then here is the back. And again, it's kind of a mixture of this look, which is from the Korean shoot, and then some other kind of newer looks. I'm not sure how to explain it. You'll have to check it out. Um, then we have Dazzling Girl, which is my favorite title song that they ever did in Japan. Um, so this is 
the limited edition that's supposed to look like a clutch. I really, really like this. And inside, it's got kind of like a postery thing going on. And then it's got the CDs that look like eyeshadows or highlighters, whichever one you prefer. And then there's these like, it looks almost like makeup advertisements on the inside. It's really, really cool. And then there is the regular. Nothing really to show you inside of that one. And the other limited. I think this is limited A. I always get confused on what's limited A and B. It's kind of nice though because it's almost like a mirror, like a compact. And then when you open it up, eyeshadow palettes. So that's really, really nice. I like that. And inside of here, there are various photo cards. So that's really sweet. And then lastly, you have Boys Meet You, which is their kind of compilation album. It's got all the singles that you just saw, plus it's got some other songs. So I'm just going to show you the back so you can see the track list here. So you see there's new songs and there's old songs. Um, this is the regular and this is the limited edition. If you can get the limited edition, I definitely recommend it because you're going to get a bigger photo book and you'll have the twin tray. So yeah, that is Shiny's second era in Japan. Now on to Shiny's third era in Japan, which starts with Boys Meet You. I know, it's really weird. We just literally saw the full album called Boys Meet You, and then after that album, they released a single called Boys Meet You. I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's just, it's a thing. It's a thing that they did, and I have no control over it, so I'm not gonna try to explain it. But we have your regular version here, limited edition, and then bigger limited edition. I definitely recommend the bigger limited edition because it's got really cute postcards and also the photo book is a little bit bigger, but it did not come with photo cards. So if you're looking for photo cards, you wanna go with, I wanna say the limited edition, the small limited edition, but don't hold me to that because I wanna say that these are out of print for buying new. So I'm not even sure if you could buy one new that comes with the photo card. You, your best bet might be to go on the used market for sure. Um, then we have 321, which again, it's it's all jewel cases. The jewel cases are different colors at least, so that's, that's something. Uh, but yeah, all jewel cases. So this is one of the limited editions. This is, I believe, the other limited edition, and this is the regular? I don't know now. No, I think these are the limited editions, and this is the regular. Let's see from the back. Yeah, this is the regular because it doesn't come with a DVD, so you get 321, everybody Japanese version, and colors of the season. This one, you get same thing, but you get everybody music videos. And then this one... Same thing, except for you get the 3 2, one music video. So that is the difference on that. And at least you have like different covers. So I don't mind this as much as I mind Fire. Fire seemed wasteful. Um, then you have Lucky Star, which has the cutest video. Oh my gosh, Lucky Star is so cute. Um, so here is the regular version, front and then back. And then you have the limited edition, which I love. I love this limited edition so much, and I have never opened this. I bought the card for this separately, and then I got this, and so yeah, I've just never opened it. It's just here. I love it anyway, but it's just here. Um, then we have I'm Your Boy, which I have several versions of I'm Your Boy. So I'm Your Boy is their third Japanese album. It's got the singles you just saw, plus additional songs. I'm Your Boy was a very unique release because they released it in Japan and then SM released the exact same album with a Korean press. So I have the Korean press and I have the Japanese press for this album. Uh, I also have Korean and Japanese press cards for this album. And there is one major difference in the limited editions between the Korean and the Japanese. So I'll show you that in a moment. But yeah, very, very interesting. It was a weird time. But probably out of all of their Japanese albums, this is my favorite because it's got one of my favorite Japanese songs they've ever done that's not a title song this album has let me turn around here it's got 365 I love that song it's also got Picasso which is a wonderful song so yeah definitely if I could recommend one Japanese album for you to kind of get you started some people would go for DXDXD 
I personally think if it's not going to be five, it needs to be this album right here. This album is really practically perfect. So that's why I advise everyone to get it. Um, so we have Korean and Japanese. So I don't know if you could tell a difference already, but already you can tell there's like a height difference. So that starts you out. That should be the clue. So here's your first one here. And then here is the back. And this one, I believe, is the Korean press. But let's just be sure. I'm going to take this out here. Yes, this is the Korean press because the CDs are side by side. So it's got the detached photo book. I'm going to put that back if I can get it to work. Sorry, it's just... You're being uncooperative, buddy. Then we have this, which is the Japanese press, which already is a little bit thicker, a little bit sturdier. It doesn't have the Comca sticker on the back. When you open it up, detached photo book, just like the other one. But see that? It's got like this layered look to the CD DVD. So you pop it. Oh, I always hate doing that. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. And see, there you go. So that is the difference. That's the main difference between the Japanese and the Korean. So in case you're ever wondering, depending on what you like, you know, you get one or the other. I like the way that the Japanese one opens. But if you're looking to save space, get the Korean press if you can get it. I'm not sure if it's still available or not because I bought them when they came out. So I really don't know. And then, yeah. Then I got these two. So there you go. All right, now we are on fourth era shiny, which is the DXDXD error. So singles we have there, we have your number, which I have three different your numbers. I have this your number, which was given away at the concert, I believe. So this is like a fan club version. There's really nothing to this. Like it's just a slipcase. I've checked it out to be sure, but it's yeah, this is basically a slipcase in a DVD, a uh, CD, but I don't care because I wanted it. And then I have this, which is the regular, which I remember getting this when it was brand new. This came with a photo card. Very excited about that. I unboxed it because I got it like next day shipping. It was a big deal. Um, and then this is the limited edition. And it pissed people off because normally the photo card would be in the limited edition or some other big perk. This was a jewel case with a sticker. This that you see on the front, it's a sticker. That was the big to do or add on for the limited edition. People were not pleased with that. I know I wasn't because a lot of people bought the limited edition strictly to get the photo card and then found out the photo card was in the first press of the regular. Um, then we have Shiny Sing Your Song. So this is regular version right here, front and back. Really pretty styling on this. I love their sweaters. Um, especially Keys says, thanks for nothing. That's so funny. Um, and then they did Fan club versions that had individual members. Of course, I got my bias, Minho. So here's the front, and then here's the back. I actually ordered two of these. The first one I ordered came mangled in the mail, so I had to get a second version. But I love this because this began a trend of them doing these um, fan club member face ones. So they did three that were like this, and I have all three that are Minho. And then this is the limited edition, which is kind of creepy, not going to lie. Their faces were like super airbrushed. It doesn't look natural. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, but, you know, I guess it's supposed to look old-timey, and it definitely achieves that old-timey look. These were the freebies that came with the albums when I ordered them because I ordered them when they came out. But, yeah, I... I I don't look at this cover very often because it creeps me out. There's something about it. It's just, it's, it's unnatural. It's unnatural. And then this is the DXD album. The DXD album came with a regular, a Blu-ray, and a DVD. I do not have the Blu-ray, but the Blu-ray is basically exactly like the DVD, except for it has a Blu-ray instead of a DVD. So there you go. So this is the regular front and then back. And I don't know if you can tell, I have only opened this maybe once. I don't think I've opened this more than, 
Actually, have I opened this at all even? I have no idea. But didn't really want to because I opened this first. And I got a copy from Yes Asia that came to me extremely dented. And then I won an auction on Zen Market that had a whole bunch of them. And I got a version that is in much better condition. So that's the version I'm showing you here. Um, and I'm just showing it because I wanted to to show how garish the packaging is. This is probably my least favorite full album packaging that they've done. I am not a fan of this bright green. I didn't actually like the song Dance Dance Dance. And the photo book is a lot better on here than it could have been. But I don't know. It's just, it felt very cold to me, if that makes any sense. So that's probably the reason why this is my least favorite of the album packagings they've done. And like this graphic, come on now. It's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But let's move on to the fifth era. So here we are at the fifth era. And again, I don't claim these to be in particular chronological order, but we have Kimi no Side. So this is the front and the back of my fan club version. <sighs> he is a beautiful man. He is a really stunningly beautiful, exceptional perfect symmetry man love you and then this is the uh regular and the limited and this wins the award for my least favorite japanese packaging of all time it used to be fire now it is kimi no side and it is kimi no side because can you even tell the difference these look identical in the front like, it is so hard to tell the difference. I had a hard time ordering the limited edition because I did not know what I was ordering. I wasn't exactly sure if I was getting the right thing. And then the back, identical in the back as well. The only difference is, is that one of them has a DVD, one does not. So the track list looks a little bit different. But when you're trying to order these, if they don't turn them around for you to look at them, especially if you order them from Japanese sites where everything is in Japanese, it is very hard to tell what you're ordering. Also, there's not a big difference in the photo books. So that is the reason why this stands to date as my least favorite Japanese packaging for any of their albums or singles. Next, we have Winter Wonderland. So this is the fan club version, front, and then back. Ooh, you look so serious. Um, and then this is the regular version, which is really cute because it looks like a snow globe. It's so adorable. And then here's the back. I love it. I love it. And then this is the limited edition, which this is a really underrated release. First of all, the song is beautiful. And secondly, the pictures inside of here are actually super lovely. And so I recommend getting it if you can. Um, I'm just going to show you a picture real quick. I know I wasn't doing unboxings of all this stuff, but I really do feel the need to show you those breath post pictures are so pretty. I really, really love that. Like, I wish those were posters. I like them better than the snow globey pictures, to be quite honest with you. So there is that. And then we have the album. So we have the regular edition here, which is just a jewel case. No big deal. I still accept it. It's still good. Um, then we have the DVD case, which I believe the Blu-ray case is extremely similar. I'm not going to be getting it anytime soon because it is so similar and it costs like I think $10 more. Um, so this is that right here. And it's it comes with a Taman photo card apparently. Uh, but this has the side-by-side -side tray instead of that cool flippy thing that we had with I'm Your Boy. I wish they had done the cool flippy thing from I'm Your Boy. I've never seen that on any other CDs. And I just really like that detail. So just thought I'd put that out there. That would have been cool to put on here. And then I have actually a fan club version of five. So let me show you that one. This is the fan club version. I love this version because it looks like an LP. It comes with CD, DVD. I love the art on here. I love the size of it. It just, it reminds me of like a record and it's so cool. So yeah, this is one of my favorite OT5 Japanese items. And this is actually a really good album, to tell you the truth. I wasn't a big fan of the DXDXD album, the Dance 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 album. This album, on the other hand, this is a really good album. I enjoyed it highly. Very much recommend. Um, and 
it kind of competes with I'm Your Boy in terms of my favorite of their full-length albums. And I have one little extra that I got during this era, but I don't know which CD I got it with now that I'm looking at it. I feel like I got it at the same time I got the Winter, Winter Wonderland fan extras, but it's this right here. Um, it's Everybody live version. And I think this was passed out at concerts or this was a Shiny World J extra. I don't know. Somebody leave a note in the comment section. But yeah, I got this too. So I just want to put that out there as well. And then lastly, we have um, the last release that has OT5 in Japan. It is From Now On, which is a compilation CD. But it does come with a new song. So there you go. So here is the track list in the back and I've never opened the regular one. I've only ever opened the limited edition because limited edition had a really cool photo book which I'll show you very briefly because it is so cool that I want to make sure I show it to you but I don't know if you can tell by the font all of the pieces of the font are different because each letter represents a different single or album release for, for Shiny in Japan because it's a compilation, so that's really cool. Um, and then this is the limited edition DVD. The other limited edition is a Blu-ray. So I'm gonna take out the photo book, because again, I want you to see kind of what makes it so cool for me. When you open it, it's got the album art for every single, but it's got these kind of cubes in order to kind of make it all link together. That is awesome. So yeah, that is part of the reason why I really recommend getting this if you can, just because if you're not going to get all of the Japanese stuff, if that's just not your bag, you're like, I want to get one thing and then call it a day, get from now on. Like this, this is really all you need unless you want some of these deeper album cuts, which again, if you're going to get deep album cuts, I'm your boy, five. Those are my recommendations. But if you just want the singles, get this get this specifically you will not let yourself down um and then the latest shiny release um since jongyun's passing um with ot4 because this was released after jongyun passed away but this is still ot5 um the latest ot4 release is sunny side it comes with um sunny side good evening and i want you so it's got two korean songs and then one original japanese song this is the regular edition front and back. This is the limited edition and I got these right when they came out too. I did an unboxing of this one a couple of days after it came out. I ordered it on Amazon Japan. They have lightning fast shipping so that's just a pro tip for you guys if you're looking. Um, then it's got this photo book here and then much much later on down the road I bought this which is the fan club version of Sunnyside. It comes with this slip case that has like a window to it. That's really cool and you get the CD here and a separate photo book. I think the fan club version is really nice, so if you're interested, I can't say it's a bad idea. You might want to check it out. Alright, so that gets us through all of the group activities, and then we can get on to solo activities, which is just two people, but still important nonetheless. Alright, so I'm going to go through these kind of fast because this video is getting really long. First, we have Taemin with his first solo release in Japan, which was Sayonara Hituri. I'm probably saying it wrong. Sayonara Hituri. So, this is the front. This is the back of the regular edition. That track list is kind of hard to see because of the darkness, but whatever. And then this is the limited edition. If you're going to get one, all things considered, go with the limited edition on this one. Then we have Flame of Love, which has three different editions. We have this, which is the regular edition, or as Shawa 5 likes to say, the telenovela version. Uh, so we have this one right here. Then we have this one, which is the regular limited edition. I love kind of the way the silver is on that cover. That's really, really pretty. Again, if you can get a hold of this, the limited edition is pretty nice. And then we have Flame of Love. Fan Club Edition, which is shaped like an LP, which matches the five album LP size. So it's nice for continuity purposes. So there's that. And then next we have his first full album. So these were mini albums, Flame of Love and Sayonara Hituri. Those were mini albums. This is his first full album, just called Taemin, which makes search results almost impossible. It is very hard to find just on the market because it is... Taman album. Psst, okay, guy. So here is the regular front. 
the regular back. This is the limited edition front and back. It's got a nice photo book. It really does. It has a very pretty photo book. But if you are able to splurge, please get the fan club version. The fan club version is a thick baby and it's got a really nice photo book. It's just lovely. This packaging is lovely. I highly, highly recommend getting the fan club version for this if you can. And then lastly, we have Key because Key had a Japanese solo. So this is the regular version, which I got from Shawwell 5. I told you guys I was going to mention her in every video I do when it comes to my shiny collection because she's an integral part of it. So this is the front. This is the back. And then this is the limited edition, which I wasn't sure if I was going to get. And then I saw the unboxing on Show All 5's channel, and I knew I had to have it. This is the front. And this is the back. And again, I just love this because this is the same size as the LP version of Flame of Love, as the LP version of Shinies 5, and as the limited edition for Taman's new album. So they're the same dimensions it's just there's a width difference obviously but same dimensions that square dimension so I'm I'm very pleased about that because if I don't love anything else in this world I love me some continuity so yeah that is my shiny Japanese collection and thank you for watching this I know I didn't do like fun edits and everything else but I wanted to make this video less than 35 minutes so thank you for watching and I will talk with you guys later bye